scrap column. We no. Can't, we can't make a working memory card function. No. L'Oreal, because you're worth it. <laughs> or I don't know if that's the... I, I choose to believe that's what it is now. Because okay. you're worth it. All right, welcome to Resident Evil Dead Aim. Uh, so we've been trying to get this game to recognize a fucking memory card uh, for like 10 minutes, and it doesn't. So this is evidently going to be a, a one... One session? Off? No, we gotta get at least a couple. Oh, episodes. sorry, I thought one off meant like just one session. No, one off would be one episode. Uh, no, this will probably be at least a couple of uh, episodes. But when we're done for the day, I guess that's it because it just. I have three memory cards for the PS2, and it wouldn't recognize a single one of them. It's like you need to have at least 130 kilobytes. The main one that I use for the show has like 6,000 for you. Uh, well, you're going to be the one playing the most, so... Easy. I don't have the patience for hard. Yeah, plus we're not going to be continuing past today, apparently, so... I read it as Morbius. Yeah. <laughs> All that you know is that an end. He's oh. beginning to believe he's the one. Billy Gunn. Midwestern town in the United States was destroyed with a substance known... Wow, Leon is whispering. Uh, it's not Leon, it's, uh... Oh. Gavin McLeod or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> That's not the guy's name. That's... So our governor, Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we don't know because uh, this is airing around election time, so we don't know. He might not be anymore. He's probably going to. Oh, he's going on. I don't even think anybody knows who the fuck the name of the guy running against him. Mumbly Joe. Joey Jojo Jr. Shabadoo or something. <laughs> uh, Jojo Norris. Oh, I thought the game was lagging. It's just oh. like, oh, please no. Like, I'm having Hulk flashbacks. Uh, Joe Mama? Oh. Yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken, get your ass in here. Remember when... Uh, you were young. Huh? Well, remember on the ballot, somebody actually managed to get these nuts on the ballot? I don't remember that specifically, but it sounds like something that will happen. It was hilarious. I don't know if it was presidential or local. But I do remember seeing on the battle for other, or like for right below, it says D's nuts. <laughs> and I'm like, look, if this was not an important election, I would totally vote for that. Yeah. Well, one would argue every election is important. Oh, that not that we wanted to get political here, it just happened because I called this guy Gavin McLeod. I think his name is like Bruce McGivern or something, but... Uh, Gavin McLeod is a, uh, I think he's an actor from oh. like the 70s. Uh, what the fuck? What did he play that I know? When I hear Bruce, I'm thinking, so he's the Wish version of Batman. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to be on my phone. I just, it's going to bug the shit out of me if I don't, if I, if I don't refresh my memory of who uh, Bombs away. Gavin McLeod is. Because I swear that's a real name. Yes, this phone. I forgot to type the letter G, not you. I do. I gotta say, Gavin McLeod does sound like a familiar name. Like, I heard it before. Okay, so Gavin McLeod was an American actor best known for his roles as news writer Murray Slaughter on the Mary Tyler Moore Show and ship's cla captain Meryl Stupid. Oh, right, he was the captain on the love boat. And that's right, I was going to make jokes about the love boat when we were starting this, but then I got sidetracked because of the stupid memory card. I was going to, like, sing the theme song when, like, the zombies busted out, but my mind just went like, it's never too late. never too late. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so it's a third-person dancing simulator, or whack it simulator. I'm trying to figure... Whoa. That's Except when it's... That's when you get to shoot... Uh, be careful, you only have limited ammo. Sorry, I'm just trying to learn my controls. It's not like uh, Survivor where you had an infinite pistol Aww. ammo. <laughs> and I do have a, a walkthrough handy if you need help. <coughs> I need help. <laughs> and my throat got ridiculously dry from all that talking. <coughs> well, not with that attitude, mister. I know, why don't you just kick the fucking door down? 
You're not on the table. Yeah, my mom's going to be so disappointed that I forgot who Gavin McLeod is. And don't tell her. Because, I mean, we have the, we watch uh, the Pluto app, and they literally have a whole channel of the love boat. Oh, yeah. that's what I got looking for. Oh, oh, hey, look at dead body. Look at dead body. There's mm. a lot of dead people here. So what you're saying is you see dead people. I do. Look at all these dead people. I'm on Interstate 101 now. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh shotgun. Okay. Wait, is there a limit to how much stuff I can carry? Yes. God damn it. That's been how it always is with all Resident Evil I games. Know. I was hoping there was some difference. No. Like I said, the only difference in Survivor was uh, you had infinite pistol ammo. Oh. I read that as uh, Upper Decker maps. Like, he drew a map of all the toilets that you can Upper Decker. That's kind of gross. So I'm guessing maybe the red door? Nah, it probably means it's locked. Yeah, which probably means I can use a key on it. Uh, oh, I thought, oh, I thought that was my character. No, I thought, me, I thought it was the opening saxophone of that. Oh, so it's the same control. Hey, look, I know I'm delicious, but you need to back the fuck off. She really did back the fuck off. Yeah. She went flying like an eagle into the sea. Why are you glowing red? Um, He's very crossed with you. Officer, back up. Thank you. He doesn't like how you're going about things in your life these days. No, he doesn't. He thinks you need to slow your roll, take a deep breath, practice some form of self-massage. Hello, officer. Um, goodbye, officer. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely goodbye. Wait, wait. Are you still alive? No, you're not. <laughs> and I wasted a bullet. Oh, well, it was a little red, so I thought, oh, maybe he's still alive. I mean, I'll give him credit. The <clears throat> Doing it this way is a little uh, innovative, in a way. A little different than yeah. you know what you're used to, but... <laughs> Even though they went, even though they changed the formula, it wasn't for the best. Well, I want to know, <laughs> is how, are you supposed to play this game with a controller and the gun con? Yeah. Like, you move, and then when you go into shoot mode, it's like, I mean, I guess, I, I never actually heard of anybody. Whoa, there's three of you? Well, maybe they were having a threesome. Well, you want know what? Uh, uh, it's like, I won't stand for this. I will not stand for this. I was not part of it. Because I was not invited. Well, you don't go in for that sort of thing. Maybe maybe Gavin does. <laughs> Gavin McLeod? Yeah, well, Gavin. he is the captain of the love boat. Maybe he does go for it. <laughs> I mean... Like, well, how do you think I got a daughter? I mean, hmm? with him doing these moves, why yeah. not? Wait, how do you do that? The L2? Yeah. You just tap it, or... Well, you hold on to it, but if you want to... Uh, yeah, I want to know how you do that. Dancing, and I believe R2? No, nope, just L2. Yeah, let me see what Love. Exciting and new. The love boat. Something, something. I don't know the words. To the love boat. Well, it'd be better if there was disco music, because okay. it was the 70s. Okay, you've been canceled. I've been canceled for singing disco. Yeah, your ratings have gone down. I'll have you know the song I was singing was written by Paul Williams, who voiced the penguin Whoa! on Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> All other dancing. <laughs> yeah, they're doing Thriller. They're doing the derp 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 part. Oh, well, then maybe I should dance with them. Yeah, you could have done your disco dance. Okay, I just want to make sure that there's nothing new. Oh, There's a shit. shitload of zombies. That's new. That one's crossed at you, too. Yo! <laughs> I sure showed their next boss. 
You really need to work on your timing. <laughs> I do. Okay, so I, I came from there, so maybe I'll just go to the captain's room. And all oh, you that. mean your room because you're the captain of the love boat? Oh, you mean Gavin McLeod and all? Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Well, nobody said you had to shoot them all. You know, that's my problem, is I shoot all the zombies. Yeah, and you don't really need to in Resident Evil. I mean, it's more fun. I am starting... I'm trying to learn that. Yeah. No, it's it's hard to... But the very first Resident Evil game I played was Resident Evil 5, and it ingrained in me, shoot every fucking zombie. <laughs> Shooting festival. I never played Resident Evil 1 or 2 or 3 until later on. Well, that's the difference between you and me. I grew up with two and three, so... And that's when I learned, huh, it seems like I have limited storage. Well, yeah, because it's survival horror, not survival action, or yeah. action horror, or whatever. And, huh, Chris does not look pumped up. For a minute, I'm trying to process what you're saying. I'm like, Curse? Who the hell's Curse? Chris. Like, the... Guy from Thor the Dark World who got all mutated and yeah. smuggled that bomb in his abdomen or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Alright, after you kill the zombies or flee or whatever, we'll uh, call it an episode. I guess you didn't need. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at all the lonely people. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, how, like, you pull a gun. It warns you those zombies yeah. are left and right. Zombie on an Ricky eating the brains that have Whoa. fallen on the floor. How the fuck are you still alive? Give me more. All the zombie people. Where do they all get brains from? <laughs> okay, uh, was this door locked? I don't know. It seems to be closed. Who the fuck? <laughs> That's lady who the fuck, mister. God. <laughs> yes, thank you. Alright. <laughs> that was the first exciting episode of The Love Boat. <laughs> uh, That's where that, that zombie is like that song that you can't get out of your head. It keeps coming back. Yeah, but most of those are good songs for me. I don't know about you. Um, anyway, on the next episode, I have no idea what's going to happen on the next episode, honestly. Uh, zombie killing? Yeah, there will be zombies and uh, wandering about in the dark. And me getting lost. Yeah. And so we will see you on the next possibly exciting episode. <laughs>